Hi, I'm Dr. Archer Crosley. Uh, this is uh, Real World Pediatrics. And I wanted to talk to you about vaccines. It's always a hot topic, right? It's never not in the news, right? So I wanted to just tell you my story of vaccines. You see, I'm, I'm not just a pediatrician. I'm also a patient. And I've been a patient a lot. <laughs> <laughs> since I've gotten older. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what happened to me. You see, a couple of years ago, uh, I'm 70 now and I was 68. Uh, I got the shingles. And uh, so I didn't have to get the shingles. I could have uh, gone down to uh, the pharmacy and it was very easy for me to just get the Shingrix vaccine, I could have, I could have done that, but I didn't do it. And why didn't I? Why didn't I do it? It would have been so easy to do. Um, it wasn't because I didn't believe in vaccines. Uh, the reason I didn't get the vaccine was because I got old before I knew I got old. I didn't, I didn't think of myself as an old person. You see, the brain doesn't get old. It always thinks it's 34 years of age. You don't think you're 68. I mean, cognitively, you know that you're 68, but you don't think of yourself as 68. And when you look in the mirror, I don't care how old you get, you don't, you don't see an older person in that mirror. You know, when you look at people that you haven't seen in 30 or 40 years, you look at them and you say, oh my God, what happened to that guy, right? <laughs> well, they're saying the same thing about you, right? But nevertheless, you look in the mirror and you look the same. You just, your brain just blots out as much as possible, all those wrinkles and creases that you get. So that's what happened to me. I got, I got old before, uh, before I knew I got old. I mean, I knew I was old, but I didn't know. You know what I mean? It was, it was like both ways. Unfortunately, this came back to bite me. Okay, so you may say, all right, um, okay, so you got shingles, big deal, man. Man up, cowboy up, eat the pain. Okay, what's, what's the big deal? You know, and if this shingles, I just been on my arm or my flank. I, I might have agreed with you. But it wasn't on my arm or my flank. I got shingles in the worst place in the body. The worst one inch of real estate in the body. And I said to myself afterwards, hey, I'm talking, I felt like saying to the shingles, hey, what was wrong with this over here? How come you couldn't? How come you didn't go on my knee or, you know, my flank or something like that? Which, what, what, what'd you go, what did you go to my eye for? That's where it went. I got shingles on the retina of my left eye. And it did a number on my eye. It severely compromised the vision in my eye. I've had all sorts of procedures in my, on my eye. Injections, Ozerdex. Zypier, uh, they've taken out fluid, they've put in fluid. Um, I had a retinal detachment, I had to get that reattached. I had, uh, I had to get a, a new lens put in because anytime they muck around in the eye there, the eye doctor told me, you're gonna get a cataract. So I had a cataract, so I had to get that fixed. So um, I'm okay, I'm stable now. I take drops every day. Oh, I got glaucoma too. Forgot to mention that. Hey, I had to put a couple holes in my uh, in my uh, iris so that the uh, my pressures my pressures were going through the roof. You know, I went in there one day. I think pressures were like 50, 56 or something like that. So we put some burn some holes in my iris. Fix that. So I'm stable now. But it, it's been a trip, it's been a real trip. And all of that could have been prevented with um, a vaccine. All of that could have been prevented. Right now when I look, it's 2070. 
the glasses, I, I mean, these are really just for my right eye and the left eye with the lens, it, it's the same. So that, that doesn't make any, the glasses don't do anything. They're just for show on the left eye. And it's not like the vision is just a little blurry. The, the images get, uh, is distorted because I developed macular edema, which is like fluid on, on, on the macula. The macula is the part where, is the part where you, you see, uh, where, where the vision is the most acute. And there's, it's like, there's a water layer on top of that. So you know how water, you know, if you get underwater in a swimming pool and you look up, how everything looks a little wavy and distorted, that's kind of like what it looks, what I'm, what I'm looking at. And so all of that could have been prevented with a vaccine. So the moral of this story is get vaccinated. You may not think you need to get vaccinated, but you know what? You don't know what's gonna happen to you. And life throws curveballs at us, right? You never know what's gonna happen. All right, I wanna close by saying this. <clears throat> Nobody in the past uh, sat around and said to themselves, we're bored, we're greedy. Why don't we in, come up with some foreign proteins that we can inject into people so that we can make a lot of money? Nobody did that. Vaccines were invented for a reason. They were invented because people died of horrible diseases or they got diseases that had horrible complications, just like shingles, just like with the rest of the vaccines. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to live in the real world and I want you to get vaccinated. Thank you.